Hi guys and welcome to the preview for the JB Military Antiques Auction which will be held on the 16th and 17th of October. Uh, what we're going to do this morning is we're going to go through and look at some of the items that we've got uh, ready for auction. So come this way, we're going to check out the bayonets first. So we've got a, three collections coming in for this auction from various vendors. Uh, we're heavy on blades, so we'll start with the bayonets and we've got, we, we go from oldest to newest for all of our items. So if you want to have a look at some of the socket bayonets and looking, looking at some of the First World War bayonets, we've got a collection here spanning British, German, Japanese, lots of European bayonets. Uh, we've got some hooked quillions over here, which are the nice rare ones, some of them are Australian. And we've got bundle lots, and we've got American. We've got items starting from you know forty dollars through to starting at thousand dollars. So pretty much we've got everything you can want for your budget. Okay, just along here we've got some nice SAS prints, um, all the end coat ones. We've got the final part of the grenade collection, which is going into the auction. So this will be your last chance to get your hands on some of these rare grenades. And these are some of the rare ones that the vendor has, uh, has wanted to keep. Um, some really nice deactivated rifles. Um, we've got a nice um, jungle carbine. Um, we've got a really nice um, selection of 303s. Coming through to the black powders. Um, We've got two sets, uh, two, three sets of dueling pistols, so matching. We've got a nice flick bayonet blunderbuss just down here. And we've got all the regular blank firing pistols that uh, you can own without any license. So nothing requires a license from our auction. So you can be uh, sure that if you buy in Western Australia, you're okay. Coming along here, we've got the German daggers, which is um, a usual part of our auction. Um, we've got a good selection. We've got pretty much all the different armed forces, um, including a, a mint condition, full ROM inscribed SA dagger. Um, it's near mint condition, and it's going to be an absolute showstopper. Um, we've got some more modern commemorative Fairburn Sykes down here. Um, some of them are really nice with a blue and gilt down there by Wilkinson. Moving on. Uh, we've got our range of uh, short swords um, from various areas and countries. Um, taking you through to some of the uh, cavalry swords that we've got here. And just moving around here, we've got some lovely lances for sale. Uh, lances, you hardly ever see lances these days. Um, and moving on over here to our uniform collection. We've got five Victorian era sets of uniforms including four pre-federation Australian uniforms so that'll be one to look out for if you're a uniform collector or if you just want to dress up as a bullfighter you're okay. Uh, of note uh, is our vendor who's giving us 28 Japanese swords for the auction. Uh, I've been going to auctions for 30 years and I have never anywhere in the world seen a collection this big before. They will all be going under the hammer, all unreserved, and they will all sell. Got some lovely tribal swords up here from the same collection. Um, very unusual. Um, not a lot of interest uh, maybe in Australia, but certainly overseas, they will do, they will do quite well. Uh, moving on, we've got some more Japanese swords, some German swords down here, including some Victorian cavalry swords. And a couple more deactivated weapons. We've got a near mint condition SLR. And if you uh, had kept, kept an eye on what the last one went for in our auction, this one should do well as well. Beautiful M1 carbine. Lovely brown Bess from the early 19th century. Uh, we've got a beautiful drummer's boy uh, cap, fur cap from sort of the uh, Revolutionary Wars in America period. And we've got some lovely swords down here, including a lovely named SS sword to one of the staff that worked with Heinrich Himmler. 
Okay, moving on, we can see the back of the Japanese, uh, the, the grenade collection, and at the back of the uh, pistol collection, and you can just see the back side of the, the daggers here. And moving on, we've got a beautiful First World War era German machine gun. Um, we talk about, you know, the 60,000 that were killed in the First World War for Australia. Well, as we know, the majority of those were killed in France and Belgium. And these were mainly responsible for those deaths. So that is for sale. You hardly ever see them come up sale in Australia. And it should draw a lot of interest. Here we've got a small collection of um, down Heinkel parts that were dug out of a farm in Kent in England back in the 1970s. So if, if you're after any of those bits and pieces and you're interested, certainly come along. This lot here contains a nice pilot badge and machine gun drum, and that's part of uh, a down Heinkel as well. Moving on, we've got um, some framed pieces from Gallipoli. Uh, and your general uh, uniform pieces, binoculars, paperwork, beautiful sets of uh, CW beans, uh, books on the First World War, uh, photograph albums from Germany, uh, shoulder boards, uniforms. I mean, have a look at that cracking little lot down there. You know, you got goggles, you got hats, you got leather gear, and these are all for sale to the general public. All you have to do is register to bid either in the room, on the phone, with an absentee bid, or via invaluable.com, which can be found via our website. Uh, coming over here, we've got a really nice chainmail outfit from probably the 16th century, and he seems to be a cavalryman. Uh, original chainmail, lovely piece. Some lovely hats here from the Barry Watt collection. Uh, the Barry Watt collection is a collection that spans over 40 years of collecting. Barry's a, a local collector, and we're very happy to have his quality gear for sale with us. His collection, part of his collection, will constitute about 40 pieces of headgear in the auction, and it'll be sold separately from all the other pieces of headgear that come in from various vendors. Moving on, you can see the rest of the headgear that we've got up on the shelves here. Again, spanning, you know, probably 200 years of service from many different countries. Uh, there's, a, there's a wealth of steel helmets. There's blue cloth helmets. Um, we've got helmets from just about every country that you can think of. Not only helmets, we've got German caps down here um, from various countries. Um, pilots caps. Some more binoculars. So really, it doesn't matter what you collect, there is going to be something for everyone. This box here contains uh, about 100 foreign awards and medals. Uh, we've also got a collection of about 150 German badges and medal lots in this auction. And as you all know, we guarantee everything is original for life. So you don't have to worry about it being original. Uh, we offer a money back guarantee for everything. And to round off the, uh, the preview today, uh, we've got some uh, lovely Australiana and some nice framed uh, Rhodesian Army pieces from a local collector, as well as some other ordnance uh, that certainly attracts interest from customers. So guys, look, we've got about 900 lots over the two days. We look forward to... Uh, talking to you about these items. If you've got any interest in any of the items you've seen today, certainly uh, get in touch. The catalogue should be out digitally and via print towards the end of September. And uh, we're certainly uh, going to miss all our Eastern States customers who can't make it over by plane, but we do offer a comprehensive pack and send uh, service in-house. And uh, we'll make sure we get any of the items that you've bid and won to you uh, in the condition in which uh, they've been sold. So guys, you've got any questions, come and see us at the website at jbmilitaryantiques.com.au. You can also email us via the website. Uh, our telephone number is 089276 
uh, signing off from uh, JB Military Antiques and uh, look forward to talking to you next time.